I'm on the Norwegian spirit. I'm here in Juneau, Alaska. If you look around, you can see the beautiful scenic views as we're on tour here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the tour on the upper decks. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. We're on deck 12. This is the Spinnaker Lounge. Right after that is the spa and fitness center. Over here is the pool area. Out front here is the barbecue area. This is the main pool. Then we're gonna come right into the garden cafe. Right outside the garden cafe is the great outdoors, the outside seating area, and this is Spice H2O. Let's head on back to the main pool area. The main pool area is right here midship. There are a couple of nice pools on this ship. There's one right here and there's one in the back. Here in the main pool area, you're gonna find a couple of hot tubs on one side and then a couple more on the other side. There is also a really nice bar and a cool barbecue area. So we're gonna start over on this side of the pool. There are two hot tubs right in front of the stage. It's really nice. You can relax in the hot tub while you're enjoying live music. In this area, you'll also experience really nice dance parties at night. On the other side, there are a couple of other hot tubs. These are covered, so you are protected from the sun. So this is also a nice spot to grab a drink, enjoy, and hang out with friends. Right in front of the hot tubs over here is the bar. This is Waves Bar. And I like how it's set up. These stools are really comfortable. It's a really convenient spot to come on over, grab a drink. You can sit at one of these stools, get a frozen beverage or any type of mixed drink and enjoy. In front of the two shaded hot tubs is a barbecue area. Throughout the cruise, at certain times, they will offer hot dogs, hamburgers, and other delicious items here. If we go directly up a deck, you're gonna find another bar. I like this bar too. It has really good views of the main pool area. It's a comfortable spot to relax and enjoy the live music that's down at the pool. Another popular spot is all the way here at the back of the ship. This is Spice H2O. This pool offers perfect views out the back of the ship. There are also plenty of places where you can sit down and relax and lie in the sun. The back of the ship here is an adult only area. And also keep in mind that this ship does not offer the kids activity areas that other ships offer. So this ship caters more toward adults. A lot of cruisers like the pool back here because it looks more like an amphitheater. The sun chairs are extremely comfortable. You'll notice that there is thick padding. And in the back here in the corners, you're gonna find really nice hot tubs which have excellent views of the back here. Of course, the pool area would not be complete without a really cool bar, which you'll find right here. Let's head on up a couple of decks. This is the great outdoors. This is the outside seating area for the buffet. And you'll notice that there are plenty of places to sit. It's an excellent spot to enjoy your lunch. You'll find a bar right over here. You can sit at one of the bar stools or you can grab a table. Let's head on in to the buffet area. This is the garden cafe. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Keep in mind folks that if you wanna book any Norwegian ship, this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to give us a call. That's right, it is amazing. We offer discounted rates. Not only do we give you all the promotions that Norwegian offers, but we also give you an exclusive agency discount. Our clients love it. And we do this in many different ways. We have our own group space. We give you our own exclusive agency discounts. And check this out, Norwegian actually gives us exclusive promotions that we can offer you in addition to their promotions. Promotions. Everyone who calls us is happy that they did. Keep in mind that to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website. They are unpublished. Right around the corner is Und by Scarpetta. This is the Italian restaurant. This is part of the specialty dining. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you would like to know the difference between specialty and complimentary, I'm gonna place a link down below the description of the video explaining each of the dining venues in detail and the pricing of each one. Keep in mind that Norwegian does offer amazing promotions. So a lot of times when you book, 
they will offer a dining package and those promotions. So make sure you ask about that when you call us. Let's head on into the Spinnaker Lounge. This is all the way at the front of the ship. It's an observation lounge, but they also offer many activities here as well throughout the entire crew. There's a bar right here in the center when you first walk in. There are plenty of couches and chairs where you can relax and hang out. Also throughout the cruise, check this out. You can enjoy dance classes, late night parties, discos, game shows, and they're gonna offer the white hot dance party over here. Even though there are many activities offered here, keep in mind that this is an observation lounge. So you can enjoy panoramic views all the way here at the front of the ship, which is perfect for any cruise, especially Alaska. A deck above is the multifunctional room. You can utilize this room to play card games, board games. They offer board games over here. They're free of charge. You don't need to make a reservation. You can just come on in here anytime you want and play with friends and family. They have little chess boards right here. So if you want to get into a game of chess and just relax, you can also enjoy some pretty cool views up here. Let's do a quick walkthrough of deck 13. Right here is the bar that's a deck above the pool area. To the right here is the main pool. If we head all the way to the back, right here is the basketball court. And then take a look at this. Back here is the Spice H2O. Let's take a look at the basketball court. This is a smaller court, but hey, it still does the job. You can come over here and shoot baskets. Directly on the other side of the basketball court is the driving range, folks. So if you want to practice your golf game while you're on board, just head on over here. Let's head on down to the lower decks. I'm going to give you a preview of deck eight. Right here is the art and photo gallery. This is Magnum Champagne and Wine Bar. Then the atrium. And then all the way to the back here is the sushi bar, teppanyaki, and then the Stardust Theater. So let's head on in to the photo gallery. Folks, this is where you're going to come to see the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board the ship. Over here is Magnums. This is the champagne and wine bar. Order specialty champagne and wine. You can come in for a tasting. I like the atmosphere here because it has a beautiful view of the atrium. Also, piano players come in in the evening and on sea days and play your favorite tune. You can also make requests. And keep in mind that you will also hear the action taking place down here in the atrium from here. The atrium is always action packed. There's always something taking place here. Whether it's a dance class or a live band, you can also enjoy karaoke here and sometimes there will even be game shows. Let's head on back. We're gonna keep going. This is Teppanyaki, the sushi bar and the Silk Asian restaurant. Right here is the sushi bar. Enjoy sushi a la carte. You can sit right here at the counter or you can grab a table. Keep in mind, this is three restaurants in one. This is Silk, the Asian restaurant. And right past that is Teppanyaki. This is where the chefs cook the food right in front of you. It's extremely entertaining. They practice, they're really good. It's really fun to watch them flip the knives and do their little tricks. Most likely, if you come into Teppanyaki, you will be seated with other parties if you're in a small party. Let's head on in to the Stardust Theater. On most cruise ships, the theater is all the way at the front of the ship. However, on the Spirit, it's all the way here in the back. Very different. Here you'll enjoy magic shows, musicals. Sometimes the comedians will come in here and perform late night. And if you booked an excursion, most likely you will meet up here in the morning. I'm going to give you a quick preview of deck seven. Right here is Cagney Steakhouse. This is the atrium. Then right after that, the local, then the casino. And then all the way to the front is the social comedy club. Let's head on in to another specialty dining venue. This is Cagney's Steakhouse, where you can enjoy premium steaks, a full course meal, and a nice atmosphere. Keep in mind, folks, that there are plenty of complimentary dining venues on board, and we're gonna take a look at each one of them. Let's head on in to the heart of the ship. This is the atrium. Both decks seven and eight converge right here. In the atrium, you're gonna find guest services. So if you have any questions, just head on over. They'll help you out with whatever you need. Also here in the atrium is a specialty coffee bar. Remember, there is plenty of complimentary coffee on board. However, if you would like a Starbucks coffee, 
head on over here. Just keep in mind that it is at current menu pricing. Directly across from the specialty coffee is the Shore Excursions Desk. We recommend that you book your excursions right after you register online with Norwegian. But you can also book on board. And if you need to do that, you can head over here and ask them any questions that you need. This is Connect. This is where you'll come over to get your internet service hooked up if you have trouble. I normally don't. Let's go into Henry's Pub. Henry's Pub is based on a traditional English pub and it's complete with a dartboard, wooden paneling, plenty of draft beer, fish and chips at lunchtime. Also folks, keep in mind that there are screens all over so you can catch your favorite sporting event right here. The great thing about Henry's Pub is that it is open late so you can enjoy drinks until closing time. Another place that's open late is The Local. Here you can enjoy food and drinks. The local consists of a couple of really cool areas. Right over here is a restaurant. Then right next to the restaurant, you're gonna find a nice little spot where you can come on over and sit up at the bar. And in front of the bar, there are plenty of tables and chairs which offer really cool views of the ocean. The local serves foods like wings, hot dogs, hamburgers, soups, and salads. But the cool thing about it is that it's 100% included in your cruise fare and it's open late. So when the buffet closes and all the other complimentary dining venues close, you can head on over to the local. This is Le Bistro. This is the French specialty restaurant. Here you can enjoy a romantic night with your significant other. Le Bistro offers rich French style dining, premium decor, a chic setting, and premium service. Let's head on into the casino. Keep in mind that the casino is only open while you're at sea. It's never open on port days. Here in the casino, you can enjoy craps, roulette, there are plenty of slots. They offer tournaments. You can also do a Texas Hold'em tournament. If you want to get into a Texas Hold'em tournament or a blackjack tournament, they're usually going to do those on sea days. So keep that in mind. It's a really good idea to look at your app so that way you know everything that's going on on the ship because you don't want to miss anything. Over here is the high rollers area. If you're going to gamble and throw down some money, head on into this area. Right in front of the casino is the social comedy and nightclub. Take a look at this area. I really like it. No other comedy club actually has a bar and a seating area like this before the comedy show gets started. And there's a reason why. Because late at night, this is gonna turn into the nightclub. And this is the bar where you're gonna get your drinks. But check this out. You can also come in here and grab a drink before the comedy show starts. And it's always good to get here a little early. Keep in mind that they do accept reservations for the comedy shows. So it's a good idea to go on the app, make the reservation. That way there is no doubt that you are gonna get a good seat. As I said, this is the comedy and nightclub. So in the early evening up until about 11 p.m., you're gonna watch comedy shows. And then after that, or sometime after that, they're gonna open it up and then the nightclub is gonna begin. So then you can come on in and get your groove on. Let's head on down a deck and go to the main dining room. This is the taste. The way the dining works here is that it is freestyle. So you can come on in whenever it is open. The main dining rooms are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you don't have to go to the buffet for breakfast, especially on a sea day. It's nice to come in here and order eggs benedict or some French toast. But I do like to go to the buffet on port days because I want to get off the ship quickly. Windows is also part of the main dining. You have the option to either go to the taste or to windows. But keep in mind that they offer the same exact menu. It just depends on which atmosphere you like better. I like windows because it is more elegant and a nice place to dine. However, for breakfast, I enjoyed going over to the taste. Norwegian is different than a lot of other cruise lines in that there are no formal nights here. So it is cruise casual, which a lot of cruisers like. You can just come on in in shorts and flip-flops if you like. 
let's head on up to deck 12. We're gonna take a look at the Mandara Spa and Salon. It is a full service spa. You can get a massage, you can get acupuncture, you can get a facial, you can head on over to the salon, get your hair done, you can get your nails done. Men, you can get a haircut or a beard shave if you like. They offer massages. You can get a couple's massage. You can get a massage by yourself. You can also head into this area, which is a nice relaxing area with panoramic views. This is where you'll come before or after your service if you want to relax. This is what a lot of cruisers like about this area are the views. And of course, the fact that there is a sauna which is a really nice sauna. It has a few places to relax over here and a steam room. And steam rooms are always perfect to really get that immune system pump up. Over here is the gym. Here you'll find Stairmasters, treadmills. There are free weights. There are plenty of machines. They also offer classes. You can do a yoga class or you can do a spin class. It's always recommended that you come in here the first day of the cruise if you're interested in taking any of these classes or if you would like a personal trainer. Thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember folks, to get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number is right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.